Hi everyone, welcome to Toy Break episode 115. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Spanky. Welcome, Spanky! Thank you! It's so nice to have you on here. It's great to be here. Finally! I know, it's been a while. After how many years of knowing you and now? A couple years. Finally got you on our couch. I know. Relatively nice. local, and yet here it is, the first time. I know. I mean, Ryniak was on before me, and he lives out in <laughs> I know, right? BFE, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Cleveland. Um, so Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys, including but not limited to designer vinyl, action figures, plush, collectibles, how-tos, events, and more. Now, I would like our, uh, our special guest to tell you a little bit about what he does and why he uh, should be on the show and why it's been so long in the making to get him on here. Um, well, this July will be my two-year anniversary for my website. It Sp will? Yeah. SpankyStokes.com. Um, I started as a hobby. In fact, if you go back to like my very first blog post, it's a um, an awesome picture of me and my dad putting up a gazebo for my mom for Mother's Day. It's like how the blog started was <laughs> not vinyl toys at all. Got into it and just started uh, writing news about it. That's so, amazing. Yeah. And you are now one of the premier vinyl sites online. Well, thank you. Thank you. Do you still yeah. put up pictures of your family building gazebos? Uh. Sometimes. I think you should sprinkle those in. Here and there. Here and there. <laughs> do how some many, fishing trips and stuff. I was going to say, how many gazebos do you really need? Weren't there pictures of your drum set on there early on, too? Yeah. <laughs> I had my drum set, my, my little studio. Your insulation, like yep. the insulating of the room, my I remember. My padded room. I remember back in those days. It's where I go and, you know, where I get crazy and just kind of ram into the walls and stuff. That's the last time I looked at your blog. Yeah. When was that? Two years ago? Two years. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm just playing. I don't watch Toy Break either. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm surrounded by liars. <laughs> you know who's not liars are our sponsors like 3D Retro. And Pay Saber. Oh, Pay Saber. Grumpy Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Tenacious Toys. Fuzzy Balls Apparel. Happy Panda Toys. And Pink Skater. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors who help us bring the show to you every week. Because we know you can't get enough of us. Go to toybreak.com, check out their wares, and we have a support contest. Support them, because they support us. Contests. We have contests going on. We do. Mm -hmm. I'm in, you, you do it. Okay. <laughs> this is a Daddy Bear contest. This is a Daddy Bear. Uh, <laughs> there, will be nine, there will be nine winners. We have nine of these to give away, thanks to Voltaire. And you can go check out Voltaire's stuff at daddybear.net. And all you got to do to enter is go to daddybear.net. Play the game with Deddy in it, and then just post your score on the forum. On our forum, not on the Deddy forum, if there is one. <laughs> um, come back to our forum and post your score for the Deddy Bear game. Um, and this is Deddy Bear We Not Bootleg. Not bootleg. This not bootleg. Fantastic. So Aileen was telling me a story about this before we started filming, and you, you got to let them know about it. Yeah, how Voltaire had his stuff was being bootlegged, and... Yeah, everything everything he had was being bootlegged. His Daddy character was being taken and bootlegged by a ton of different people making bags, toys, those little like clocks that like bobble in the sunlight. Like what? They were making like crazy stuff. So he was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm finally making my own official not bootleg figure. And it says right on it, this not bootleg. This not bootleg. Exactly. <laughs> Great. So it's okay to bootleg and not bootleg your own stuff. And it says danger for choking. <laughs> danger for choking. So <laughs> definitely put this in your mouth if you want to. Oh, uh, definitely. So the contest ends <laughs> April 21st. Oh, what a marvelous day. What a marvelous day that is. Happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'm excited. It's like birthday month. Go enter. Daddy Bear's cute. That's not bootleg. Awesome. And don't forget to check out Voltaire and DaddyBear.net. So we have a voicemail. Mm. Are you ready for the excitement? Yes, now I am. <laughs> hey, Toy Break, this is Crackett from the Toy Break Forum. And I enjoyed hearing about your uh, list of neat podcasts in episode 109. And I was wondering if y'all have like a top 10 or top 20 list of blogs related to toy news. I've uh, subscribed or using RSS feeds for a whole bunch feel like I'm getting burned out, so it might be time to start pruning back. Just wondering what your favorite top 10 or top 20 toy news blogs were. Thanks. That is a good question, sir. 20? 
I, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I probably have a list of twenty of them. Do that you I really? Go to. Yeah, like there's, but I mean they're not toy all like they're not blog. all specifically toy news. Some of them are like an artist yeah. who makes toys mm-hmm. and it's his blog or that kind of thing. So it's like it kind of is still a toy news blog, but it's specifically that person's toy news blog. Mm-hmm. Which makes sense. But I mean, as far as like people that report on multiple things in the vinyl world, I mean, it's SpankyStokes.com. It's really the obvious. Um, Toys Are then- Evil and Vinyl Poles are the three like. Don't well, forget Plastic, plastic and, and Plush. Dot com. Um, Tomo Pop, if that's Tomopop. how you pronounce it. They've yes. they've been really um stepping up their their reviews and just really really cool vinyl stuff. I mean, they cover like the anime figures and things like that as well. Wider. So it's, yeah, it's a, it's a action figures, things like that, um, which is really cool to go check out because I'm not familiar with that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, there's another website that uh, I go to, and actually uh, I think a lot of um, the, the top vinyl sites go to for toy news because this guy gets stuff up, like, fast. Um, it's Thank you, so it's com. The, well, Yes, maybe. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's. It, I think the guy's based out of Japan, and it's a uh, j dot m e, uh, slash blog or dot blogspot dot com. I don't even know that one. And um, I think that's it. We'll have to check, and it'll be you know, on the list or whatever Absolutely. on the site. Yeah, we'll put a link up in the show notes. Yeah, um, but he he doesn't write too much, and it's I think it's in Japanese, so it's it's tough to translate, but. He's. I mean, he puts up like a picture and just all. He gets scoops on everything. It's amazing. That's cool. Wow. Yeah. I'll show you guys. Good to know. Insider info. I like this. <laughs> yeah. And what was it? Wasn't there another one that was like coming up last year that was like all big and they were it was like their site was like bright colors. What was the name of that site? Oh, Albertus. That was one that was around for a little while. Are they still doing stuff? Yeah, he's around. They keep shut every time I go. Like it'll be shut down, and then like the site site will be gone. Then all of a sudden it'll be back, and then the site will be gone. He has uh, like server issues. Like every other week, he's like, "Oh, my site was hacked," and it's just that sucks. Yeah, I don't really know what the deal is. I don't know what site you're talking about. Who was the one with the guy that was the writer that? Had oh, this? I do know who you're talking about. It was. Um, oh. Jeremy brought. Jeremy Broughtman, Yeah. What was the site? Uh, toy site. Toy site. They are, are they still doing are really stuff? No, no, Toy site's done. But he is blogging for Neon Monster now, the toy toy store up in uh, the Frisco area. Okay. And uh, he uh, he's a great writer. He writes for me every once in a while. Um, but I think he's he's strictly doing um, Neon Monster now. Okay. Because yeah. that was coming up for a little while. They started mm-hmm. having a lot of stuff, and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden it was just gone again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's and, and Neon Monsters. It's getting it back up, and they have all kinds of cool stuff going on over there. That's awesome. Yeah. Good to know again. Yeah. Um, Don't forget O'Neill. O'Neill design. That's very specific, though. That's not (laughs) general wide berth. I still go to Um, it almost every day. Do you? Yeah. Interesting. And you know what? On a lot of the sites that we just mentioned, if you look around, a lot of them will have um, like a blog role. Well, they they will have like places that they visit. I know on my site, it's on the right hand side in the column, and it's just it could be artists, it could be you know um, websites, things like that definitely a good way to find new places um i also go to uh there's collection dx that one's more uh, and uh anime japanese toy related kind of stuff but again mm-hmm. lots of good stuff going on over there uh pogostal.com has some fun stuff once in a while that dude's got the best pictures of action figures he has good pictures but uh, mwctoys.com has even better Really? Better than um, the Pogosa Michael Crawford, stuff? he does those huge pictures and reviews, Captain Toys. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. I think it is. That's probably the one. Pogosal's Pogosal, still very good. He's got, he, I think Pose is the one I just looked up, the Moss Man review. Mm-hmm. And he had some really awesome pictures up there of that. But yeah, that MWC guy mm-hmm. has those giant, like you click on a picture and it's like... Fills up the screen, it huh? take Your computer gets bigger you when know, you look at the picture. Speaking of... Um, different types of toys the some cool kaiju websites um blogs um kaiju chronicle uh they uh do a lot of it's it's mostly all kaiju and it's really cool and then uh, toybot studios that's Kirk, a good one kirkland yes uh he okay. he does really great stuff as well I like those um, sites. yeah and and also like artist wise uh max toy company uh, Mark Nagata, he does he has his own kind of blog and he puts up some pretty cool stuff just recently he went to um 
over to, I think to Japan and he put up some really cool videos of him visiting uh, oh, nice. visiting like Japanese toy factories. Oh, and, I saw those videos. Like in little They're amazing like, shacks. Like, yeah, these guys working. Not in, the like, one on Boing Boing. Was it on Boing Boing? Yes. yes. Oh yeah, we just there's watched one. That. Uh, there's that one, and then there's one with him painting too. It's the same video, same guy doing the video. Yeah, and he's visiting a vinyl. And a paint factory. And yeah. fa- I say factory in the <laughs> loosest sense of the word because we could do it on this couch. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> this room might be bigger than the room they use. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Well, obviously the expanse of Toy Break Studio is uh, is bigger, but... Well, yeah, well, it goes miles that way and <laughs> that hello, way. Hello, hello. That's why we had the tram installed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, there's also aftimes.com. Mm-hmm. These are more action figure type sites, though. Um, and figures.com and cooltoyreview.com. Um, just kind of a ber- wide berth. Hope that helps. Um, I and know. I'm sure there's a million that we're missing. Yeah. We're oh, even... I'm sure. You guys come to the forum and tell us what we're missing because definitely we need more information. And I'll put up my list on the forum when this goes up because <laughs> I, I, I I'm not writing them down. You know me and my research. Perfect. He's he's what you call a preparer. I have them on links in my little window, so I just click on the link. Do you click on links or do you RSS? Um, links. Really? Yep. The R- RSS thing I never really got a hold of, and it's just kind of, yeah. RSS right. has changed my life. I, it probably would change mine, too. It's just, I don't know. I, I don't like links. change. No, I agree. <laughs> I, I, I feel where you're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I like see the change. fear in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but wait. but you guys, if you're into, R- into reading so many blogs, like Crackett was saying, I think he said he subscribed to RSS. He said he does RSS, yeah. Google Reader free. If you already have a Google account, you're already in or just sign up everybody has an rss feed on their blogs and you just click it and then when it's updated it comes to you you don't have to go check it every day hmm. so yeah, i don't know i like it 200 things that you read like crack it then it's like too many things i do have a lot of things but i like a lot of scrolling constant. using that mouse button oh yeah or petting your tiny cat <laughs> 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 all right so with that let's get into some news boop, 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 boop. <laughs> news First up, we have the live toy break. We're going to keep reminding you about this because it's coming up in a couple so days. So we don't forget. A couple days. We're planning uh, the next toy break is on Thursday, April 8th at about 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come to toybreak.com slash live or just toybreak.com. We'll have a link up and come join the fun. It was, All the excitement. It was so cool last time. Ah, thank you so much. How many viewers did you guys have? Do you I, know at one time? I, I think we were up to like 80. That's awesome. That's really cool. We got. We can get more than that. Come on. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. Over a hundred this time around. Everybody, April eighth. April eighth. And hopefully o'clock. we'll do another one after this. So if you can't make it on Thursday, you know you got some stupid work or something. And again, we'll record for. the show part and Lame. put it up. So. It'll be fun. Also coming out, Kickass figures by Mezco. They have six-inch action figures of Kickass and Hit Girl due out this October. Keep an eye on MezcoToys.com. These prototypes look really good. Yeah, they do. They look really cool. I haven't seen them, but I've seen the previews for the movie, and the movie looks really good. The movie looks awesome. Have you read the comic? I haven't, but I've flipped through it. It's and really good. It reminds me of old school Eastman and Laird, like yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Right? So there's Hit there's Girl. There's Hit Girl. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it. She is one and bad mamma jamma, too. Kick ass. <laughs> so, I mean, hopefully some of this will translate into the finished product. I'm excited. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, do you want the long one? Uh, sure, I can do that. <laughs> All right, next up, the Ghetto Reaper and the Carrot Slayer by Very Bravo. Um, it's an, by an Italian artist. His name is um, Mauro Gatti. Uh, the Ghetto Reaper and the Carrot Slayer are uh, coming soon in two limited editions each. The Ghetto Reaper Gold and Cold, I'm sorry, Gold and Cold is 250 pieces. And the Ghetto Reaper Silver Shiver is 250 pieces as well. Um, The Carrot Slayer Gruesome is 250 pieces. And the Carrot Slayer Hippie is 250 pieces. So there's something uh, in common with them. There's 250 pieces of each one. I do. I have noticed that. And you know what's really cool about this figure? You you can find them at verybravo.com. You can kind of see the similarities in the, the body... Um, and the way that the, the hand's up like this, and each one of them has like a different weapon in the hand. Um, the only thing that I notice that's different is the head sculpt. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe that's just a way to save money on production. 
Um, if, if you I use think, like the full body and I think the two the bodies are the two differences, and the head hands are the hands and feet are the same. Okay. Like the body, the little because the both bodies have the head attached. I think. Okay. And it looks like. Well, and obviously the paint. <laughs> well, yeah. one's a reaper and one's like a, a axe guy. But I'm pretty sure that the the. Maybe it's not. I think the bodies are different. Bring up the the reaper. Where's the reaper? Yeah. Okay, I see. It looks almost like a cloak. But the hands and feet, yes. the, the arms and and legs, mm-hmm. okay. are the same piece. So it's a so good way kind to of get. Plug oh, in. Yeah, okay. It's a good way to get two figures out of almost all the same pieces, but you know, mixing it up. So it's it's cool. Yeah. Smart. It's a good use of the the uh, and pieces. And they're big too. I, they? I don't know if it's. It, I know it's eight inches. I don't know if that's to the oh, tip wow. of the hand. That's probably, I mean, because they're both posed that's that way. That's still pretty big, yeah. though. So I'm guessing that the actual figure itself is, you know, a good six inches. That's that's a pretty big figure. Yeah. You know what else is eight inches? What? The Bic Buddies from the Bic Buddies Custom Show. Yeah. That's not what you guys thought I was going to say, huh? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's what I thought. I don't have oh, that okay. in mind. Well, we had a chance to stop by the Bic Buddies Custom Show a couple weeks ago, and it was over at Crew West. It was awesome. There were tons of really cool artists and they got amazing things like Spanky was one of the artists. What an honor to be part of the the, the artist lineup. It was it was seriously yeah. really cool that Marka um, included me. So Did you have fun working on your custom? I did. It was uh, the most fun I've had and it came out um, pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. I th- it was one of my favorites. Well, thank you. At the show, I really liked yeah. it. Nice and hairy and big tongue and drool. and Eight inches, nice and hairy. Let's check out the Big Buddies custom show. Cool. Wow, what a great looking show. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was the future. It was the future. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't yeah, it? I know. Thanks, Memrex. <laughs> but with that, thank you, uh, Crew West, and thank you, Marka and Vic and everybody for putting that on. It was S- super fun. Yeah. <laughs> so many great artists came out, too. <laughs> you had a blast that night, didn't you? <laughs> it was rad. <laughs> so on, with that, on the blind box. The blind box. <laughs> I like blind boxes. Getting free. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time. All right, so I'm gonna cry. Blind box. Would blind you rather, box. Would you rather open an? All right, blind box. <laughs> we have a few different things. This is kind of a hodgepodge. Um, Ooh, a pod. Would you rather open a Simpsons Bart key or an organ donor figure? Ladies first. Or oh, no, no, no. Guests first. Guests oh, first. Okay. Or a, 
Toki Doki Frenzy keychain or a Gloomy keychain? All right, I gotta go with the organ donor. Okay. Nice. Fuchs. Gloomy keychain. Gloomy keychain. I'm gonna open a Bart key because we haven't opened enough of those. So mine's by Toy Two R. Uh, Bart key, and of course, I don't know which. I don't think we have the Brain Freeze one yet, do we? No. Get I'd it. Like to get the Brain Freeze one. So what? Which one do you want? Who's your? Uh, Kid Robot, Gloomy Bear's keychain, and I want the Bloody Ice. Okay. And in lieu of our call that we had, crack it. I want the eyeball. Ooh. Nice. Big old eyeball. I like it. And these were made. You know, I don't know who made these. I know uh, David Fuchs made them, and it says ESC toy, but I don't know like factory wise or. We'll just say That's Fuchs. Who. Fuchs. David yeah. Fuchs. Fuchs. Cool guy. Fuchs indeed. Oh, I, I'm I'm not Tiny. sad with mine. Whoa! It exploded. Bart oh. Nice. You got Bartman. I got Bartman. That's pretty rad. I'm not sad about that at all. Oh. Uh-oh. What is this? It doesn't feel like an eyeball. It's more like a pair of lungs or liver. I like that you're very specific about what organs it seems like. I got bloody instinctive. He kind of looks oh, like he's hanging go. himself or a little retarded. Oh, yeah. I think he's hanging himself. And I got lungs. Lungs. Oh. With a nice little a booty. Look, I like their little butts. Looks like delicious kidney beans. Is it kidneys? It doesn't say. I think it's... there's a thing inside that tells you oh, where yeah. everybody is. Darn it, we don't know our organs. You gotta put what they are on the box. <laughs> Here we go. What do we have? What is kidneys? Kidney. Kidneys, not lungs at all. I knew it because it looked like the beans. <laughs> delicious. What do, what do lungs look like? Similar, uh, just with similar. veins. Okay. Yeah. I could see that. Ew, they're kind of... Are they gross? It's just kind of weird to feel them like that. Alright. One figure. That's got One a good butt. Bear. That's still open butt. He's got the Bartman. I think Bartman wins for this uh, hodgepodge opening. Here, why don't you just throw that one open right there. Okay. I'm going to open this last one here. That's a little gloomy. And you get nothing. You just sit there. I think it's so tiny. You're a girl. I think it's so tiny. Should I also walk five feet behind you? Oh, this is when he was a bug. No comment. Wasn't that in one of the horror episodes or something? Yeah, one of the treehouse of terror. Yeah. Toki Doki. He got Toki Doki. Oh! Super cute. What the heck are these things called? Little Moo? They're the Mufia, right? Mufia, or... that's right. Mufia. You got a little milk container, dude. All right. Oh, keychain. oh, it doesn't tell you which one it is. And that clears us out of old blind box stuff. Yay! Onward and upward. Crazy mix of strangeness, but yes. I still think Bartman wins. Yes. Yeah, Bartman's the cooler as well, of all that. All right, let's get on I'll to some reviews. I'll go get my own blind box. Let's get on to some reviews. Reviews. Here. Reviews. Reviews. Up first, you can talk while I open this thing. Okay. Oh, awesome. Uh, TYO and Ewok, five mile per hour truck. It's an eight inch die cast box truck, limited to 100 figures, signed and numbered by Ewok. $50 over at TYOtoys.com. And am I mistaken or is this sold out? This is now sold out. Uh, there was only, what, there was only 100 of them. This is number 74. And Sweet. When, when they first started putting pictures up, I was like, 50 bucks for that little car? Because they didn't put any scale up. Like, mm -hmm. they had no pictures of scale. And I was like, well, that's crazy. And I, I wrote to that, I was like, dude, can you put up some pictures of scale? And when I saw how big it actually was, I was like, all right, this thing's rad. So this is... This is the signed half right here. Awesome. And that's actually signed by Ewok. They went out to New York and got him to sign it. And then that's the Sweet. printed production part. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. Oh, bad. Just the bottom of the thing. It, it and, bad. you know, I did read that they're going to do more. Yes. Uh, like a more... Oh, that's cool. More series of the, the graffiti artists. I think it opens all the way. Cool. just pull it. Yeah, dude, there's stickers in there. I put those And in the there. doors open on the truck. They that's don't, that's they, where you keep your weed. They don't all have stickers in there, but he put some stickers in the box. But okay, for one of the contests, they made a little <laughs> a little O Ben <laughs> that you can't see right here, but we'll show you. Yes. Fantastic! This is really cool. <clears throat> yeah, and it's kind of a new thing for I think the designer world because we don't have a lot of die casts. Yeah. Anything. Yeah, yeah, and it well, it kind of reminds me of, um, gosh, all all city style, the trains yeah. that mm. they release, yeah. and, yes. and how the artists really 
did those up, and this is kind of a, just a. But did another... they ever release any actual artist trains, or they? They didn't. Blends, I think they were right? all customs. I yeah. think I'm not sure. I think you're right. Um, but I this thing is. I love the and I love the way they made the they made it look like it's a quick like just bomb like throw up on there. Like, yeah, it's got it's kind of um, distorted and it's got scratchy. all like the, it, yeah, it's got the look like it's just a quick like. This would look great. Like have a couple of them together. Yeah. That's I can't be... wait for these things to keep coming out. More awesome, and, more. and I mean, and the signature that's huge. It takes up the whole side of the truck. Yeah. That's awesome. It's not like the tiny little. I wouldn't even care about the sign part of it. Like. I would be happy with just the yeah. truck with the printed stuff. I don't even, like, it Some doesn't even like, need to be signed. How do you feel about signatures? I think it's cool. I think signatures yeah. are cool. But he also included Personal a little artist. special thing that what? they're going to be selling. I didn't know about this. What? Miniature blanks. Oh, nice. That's That they're awesome. going to be selling on their site, which is a, it's a little bit different style truck than that. It's a refrigerator truck. It's a truck. fridge truck with, a, yeah, with the roll-up back. But you guys know and stuff. That's cool. So they'll be selling these soon on their site as blanks. You gotta get these and take them to like Comic Con and get people to yeah. throw down some or art. You can put it inside, put them inside the, the other <gasps> Night Rider style. Yes, <laughs> dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. <laughs> it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, these are really cool. I like that. I Whoop. sorry, That's Bart. cool. It's just Bart man. So awesome, right? Yeah. So that's T Y O Toys. Um, there's always a quick link on the breaker section to go to TYO. There's yes. a, it looks like a little truck. Just click right on it. Go on the breakers link on the Toy Break forum or on the Toy Break uh, site. And we look forward to more stuff from them. And thank you to them for supplying us with this truck because it's rad. Yes. Yeah, that's really cool. Totally rad. Um, we also have oh. the most recent releases from Maddie Collector. We have Mossman and Battle Cat. Yeah. You want to start with this because it's the biggest? Let's do. That's what I always say. Start with the biggest. Eight inches and hairy. Forget the <laughs> I think that's the title. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's. Oh, you didn't know? Not pre-opened today. That does not. Nothing is pre-opened. What? Today. This is fresh. <laughs> this is fresh. This is totally fresh. So these are by Mattel and the Four Horsemen, of course. Uh, Battle Cat was thirty dollars. Mossman was twenty dollars. They both sold out retarded fast on MaddieCollector.com. Um, I want to say half an hour ish. Probably. Maybe? I mean, I think I think Mossman sold out in like three minutes. Oh yeah, that's right. Battle Cat was longer, but Mossman was yeah, it was like Battle five Cat minutes. Battle Cat was actually like last month. Yes. Wow. We're actually a little slow yes. on getting. Oh look, a, Battle, pink, a nice pink. Battle Cat was the one where I had chest pains for forty-five minutes trying to order him. Like, he came out with trap jaw. He's here. But then Mossman sold out in like five minutes. Yeah, you were right. I think it was three to five minutes. And it was ridiculous. So the reason Mossman sold out so fast was because they offered a flocked ear version and an unflocked ear version. But instead of making, you know, whatever the same number and whatever of number, both. they split the run between flocked and unflocked. Huh. So everybody, all these crazy collectors... Wanted both. Wanted both. Oh, yeah. So they're like, oh, we didn't anticipate the you know, the the want for these, and we're like, well, of course people are going to want both. You put out two versions, they're going to buy both. Yeah. So they will be remaking Mossman at a later date, but not this year. Man, they don't want that toy going anywhere, do no. they? The weird thing is, like, this isn't going to a store. Like, it's no one's going to steal it. Three and a half hours, and you still haven't gotten it out of there. What's going on, man? Why do you need <laughs> all that? Jeopardy theme. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You hold yeah. that. Okay. I'm gonna start opening Moss Man now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe by the end of the show we'll have them oh, out. Wow. Look at that. You know articulated jaw. I don't remember what the original one looked like, but this one looks pretty amazing. Oh. Mmm. Smells good. Yeah, get the smells Check in now, because from yeah. what I hear, this guy's pretty potent. Oh yeah, I'm excited about that. He's mossy. This battle cat is amazing. Wow, look at all the articulation. Holy smokes. The hair detail, like the fur detail, is really nice. So so far superior to the class, to the original. Wow. It's, the vintage. It's got to have at least twenty points of articulation. Whoa! I can smell Christmas. I smell nice. Christmas. I smell camping in Christmas. Oh yeah! You can't? Are you kidding me? It does. It's very piney. <laughs> okay, so Battle Cat. Smell bad. 
Holy oh, smokes. I want to eat it. Oh, it awesome. does smell like Christmas. That's an air freshener. Oh, so good. Make the Toy Break Studios smell good. <laughs> Um, so Battle Cat was one of my favorite figures growing up, you know, him and Cringer, you know, yes. both versions, and Panthor. Um, I mean, it's just, it's an amazing piece. It's huge. How big is it? It's like 10 inches. Yeah. Maybe 12. And, and hairy. hairy. <laughs> but you know what we need is a figure to sit on it. Well, here, here's one. Working on it. <laughs> they kind of jam these things in in all special ways. Wow. Now, was the original Moss Metal, like, flocked like he that? He was flocked. He was flocked. But the sculpt, like, I don't remember his face like that at all. He was a little softer He was, the yeah. Original. I mean, the original one, it was just Beast Man, you know, flocked and green. <laughs> Weird. Oh, what? <laughs> so that is using the same, that's using the I Beast Man head right there. But then this, this Moss Man came with the alternate new sculpt. It's, it's like zombie new, Moss Man. Moss Man head. What? This one looks like zombie because he's got like little green eyes. That's more of the Four Horsemen's idea of Moss Man rather than the classic look. <laughs> oh, that's cool. He does look like Planet of the Apes. Pop it on. He looks. Yeah, he hard. definitely looks more apish when Good. he has that. What's going on? Uh, that's not okay. There we go. Cool. Got it on. It, I thought I was expecting a pop of some sort. There was no pop. <laughs> So one of the things about this um, figure that you have to be wary of is water, because there's, Just been, like some, Gremlins. there's been some cases online <laughs> of people accidentally spilling water on it, and all the flock just kind of starts to fall off. That makes sense. So the glue gets there wet. There have been some videos also of people. <laughs> yeah. So don't really? get yeah. your moss man wet. Like the He-Man.org people, somebody over there accidentally spilled some water, so they just went ahead and threw them in a cup of water. One of the dudes over there actually Look at that. That's awesome. deflocked his really, and then reflocked it with like the same way that the horseman flocked the prototype. Uh huh. And the figure looks amazing. We'll be showing you a picture right here as you're talking about it. It looks so awesome with like the cooler flock. Like this flock's a little bit longer. I was and, like, say weird. this is a, a weird flock. Yeah. It's sort of grassy. So this moss man comes with. A new sculpt of the Grassman. of the Grassman. standard weapon. It's a it more it looks more like wood, with actual like carved in pieces and vine around it. He comes with <gasps> something the original Moss Man didn't have, which was a vine satchel. Yeah. Uh, man man bag. Oh, he does have a man bag. It's a purse and a purse. It's a moss purse. Purse. Yeah. I think a man purse. And a little knife that slides right into the little thing. A little so sheath. and that actually like. I don't know, this really makes the character, this extra, like, vine purse. It does. Well, it sets it apart because the access. you know, you're using the same sculpts for the body and things like that, so the accessories are what set the different characters apart. Yeah. And flocking, of course. And when Moss Man's out on the town, he needs somewhere to carry his money, you know? It's true. His Moss money? His Moss money. So that's rad. And they fit well on there, and... Yeah, I think it's really cool. Was the original Moss Man, did he have, were his legs flocked? Yeah, the but original? he wasn't, like, this one, it's really, really strong. And this was wow. the medium level of strength that they said they used. Oh, yeah, that was a good uh, story. Mattel went on the forum and said that they tried three different batches, small, medium, and large, of, like, because they mixed the pine, pine scent. scent into the plastic. No way. In the factory, yeah. so it's in the plastic. It's not, like, sprayed on or anything. Oh, and they wow. picked the middle version, which was this one, which is the... A little bit less. It's very pungent still. It's still pretty powerful. <laughs> it's awesome. It's totally going to make your house smell good. I know. I'm digging it. <laughs> I'm sorry. The studio. The studio. The studio. It's, we live at the studio, so oh. I see where you. Okay. We, we do this 24 hours a day. That makes sense. That's the dedication we have for Toy Break. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't really like the... Because there's more articulation in this one than the original figure... It's got all these weird, like, mangy spots of, like, no flock mm -hmm. that the original one didn't have to have because, obviously, it was just one leg. It was a solid piece. So, it's like... Oh, maybe that's why I was thinking it wasn't flocked. Some some legs. parts look kind of weird, like, around the elbows where it's missing. And, I mean, I, I understand that it needs it, but, like... And, seriously, what's with the quality of putting these things together? Why are there always giant gaps in here and stuff? Come on, these figures are expensive. Let's make them right. What do they retail for? $20, and that was the first uh, not 20 that one was 30 
But it's twenty dollars with no option of ever getting it in a store, so you have to pay shipping. So it's twenty. It's twenty eight basically yeah. by the time you get it, or mm-hmm. more. We just happen to live close to Mattel, so it's a little bit cheaper for us. I'm imagining than yeah. someone who lives on the East Coast. Yeah, it's probably even a couple dollars more for. They're cool figures for sure. Yeah, but they're amazing. I'm so excited about Battle Cat. I can't wait for more. They have um, the big figures coming out every quarter now. For, the classics. Was the was the original Battle Cat? that big comparatively i do not believe so i I remember him being a little bit smaller than that but maybe he was i don't know i think he was a little bit smaller i know it's fantastic isn't it but don't forget uh for maddiecollector.com for you classics fans to watch for evil lynn hordak the ultimate battleground weapons pack and wondar for the club attorney subscribers all coming out on april 19th that was a mouthful and speaking of club attorney subscribers the subscription for 2011 will begin, they will begin taking subscriptions on Wednesday of Comic-Con is when the subscriptions oh, wow. go on sale. Thanks, Maddie Collector. So, so not that there's not enough to do that week. Do you have to wait in line for that, too? It's that probably, it'll probably, line, not, no, it'll probably be online. Virtual line. Insane. That'll be online. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure it'll be open for more than a day. I'm sure it'll yeah, be open for a couple weeks. Yeah, I think it's a week weeks. or a couple weeks. Or... So, yeah, but make still, sure dude, get in on, on that Comic-Con? subscription. That's like 150,000 people, a good chunk of which are probably going to be your subscribers. Planning. Having to pay the $10 at the hotel to get on To get on the internet. To yeah. get our subscription. So there's another $10 Maddie's making us pay. Thanks, Mattel. <laughs> All right, let's get on to the last. Uh, well, we got two more things. We got, got more. more. Next we have thing. a special guest and special things. Woo. So this is the Tech Deck Jim Phillips Collector Series Screaming Hand Santa Cruz Deck. And hand. That's a mouthful. Yes. <laughs> um, you might have remembered this figure came out in the vinyl world um, a couple, I think it was probably a couple years ago by now. Um, yes. Someone made yeah. the Screaming Hand figure. I don't remember who or or anything like that because, I don't, like I said, don't do research. <laughs> but uh, Spin Master went and made one for their Tech Deck line. Help. What's happening? Can't get the board out. Oh, man. Good job. Um, the cool thing is, this is a roto, roto vinyl oh. hand. Look at that. And it comes with a little place to store the board. Wow. Next Adorable. To it. So, really how cool, cool is that? Look yeah. At that. And way more affordable than the other version. Yeah, I'm and I mean, sure. in the store, it was like. I saw people on our forum were getting it for like three bucks. What? Yeah. This this right here? It was like, because it was on it sale like, at Walmart. Wow. I found it for like ten. On eBay, it goes for around ten. Which is still, I thought, a really good price. Yeah. For what it is. It's definitely worth ten. I, I mean, we picked it up. We had to get it off eBay because we couldn't find it at any stores. But we couldn't. It's so cool. It comes with the deck. And the cool thing is it shows the original, the guy painting the original. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Painting the original. So it's kind of cool on the back. It says, The Screaming Hand was originally created as a logo for the Speed Wheels Santa Cruz line at NHS Inc. And conceived and graphically rendered by artist Jim Phillips in 1985, the design has since become one of the most recognized icons of skateboarding. The weird thing is he drew it as a right hand, and you always see it made as a left hand. Why is that? Oh, that's interesting. Why would you have flipped the hand around? That is interesting. I don't know. I wonder if on the original deck did they flip it? Was it... Well, the deck is so maybe the, as well. maybe the deck flipped it so they flip it because his mm. painting here is a right hand interesting yeah I don't know only you would notice these things good job George I don't have noticed that <laughs> <laughs> good job making us think it's it's really cool looking too I like the little grungy detail in the teeth and I mean you can tell it's a little cheap toy but it's it's really cool I love the tech deck stuff and what they do with all their with, with yeah. the little figures they had and like these decks and just putting this out is such a rad accessory that I'm just really glad that somebody somebody who's working there knows like what's really going on and like the you know, art behind the boards. Yeah, and like stuff. pitched the, obviously pitched this and like said, hey, let's make this because it's like this is what the people want right here. This would be a rad size to custom. Yeah, check out the the packaging too. They they have um oh, like didn't... the hand all screen printed all over it. That's nice. Little all over screaming handprint. Yeah. It's actually a nice little box if yeah. we were to keep it in the little, box. Little window box. Not display. that we would do that. Take it out and play with it. Oh, that's sure. cool. It also comes off. Oh, nice. 
Do you have any toys in their boxes? Um, I think the only thing I have in the box still are um, um, the Ono Sushis by Andrew Bell. See, now that one toy, it's so hard to take it out of the box because it's so, like, packaged. Perfect. It's, it's in. It's the, in the its The package hand. is part of the toy. It is. The Did you see that purple? You saw that purple one. That, yeah, that's uh, cool. So many good colors of that. I know. It's so hard to not get, try to mm, just get every color and Should we talk eat about them because the they're so cute. Oh, if you want. Eat them. What? Um, so this one actually was brought to our attention by someone on this very show. Come on now. Um, yeah, I believe, wasn't it at DesignerCon that you pointed these out to It me? was, and the first Designer person Con. to carry them was um, Chica from Gunzo in San Diego, the little vinyl shop in San Diego. Which is totally where this rad. came from, right? I yes, believe. it is. There you go. Um, so this was $30 at that shop. Gunzo is how you say it? Or Gunzo. Gun? Gunzo. Not gun? Gunzo. Okay. Gunzo. We've been saying Gunzo for years. Um, we are wrong. We humbly apologize. So this is Bacteria by... How do we say we were going to say that? Alemania? Alema there you go. Alemania Toys. Look at this little Alemania. accent. Um, four and a half inch vinyl. There's five versions. 250 pieces each. These are $30. Blog.alemania.com.mx That's a lot of dots. Um, but you can buy these guys at gunzo.com. Yep. So... These are Hecho and Mexico. One he of the... Hecho or Hecho? Hecho? He Hecho. Hecho. I think the H is um, silent. <laughs> Hecho in Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I can't yeah. only smell Moss Man. Well, he is overpowering Moss Man in that little bag. Really? Yeah, he's, he's pretty, pretty poignant. Oh! He smells like a... Inflatable toy. Yeah. Yes. It does. It smells like a beach ball. Yes. I think yes. it's this bag. Might be. So this is uh, <sighs> one of the few Mexican Get. vinyl pieces. Whoa. I just killed like all your brain. Just ODing over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> On film. So this is, a, I guess, Mexican kaiju. Yeah. <laughs> Rad. Mexican kaiju. <laughs> I love it. So he's obviously called bacteria because he's like a little. Bacteria. He's a little like virusy look guy. Yeah, you see the front of it, and they they kind of show it as like a little movie poster, or, like with the titles down here and the people who who worked on it. I guess. <laughs> I like the art on the header. Yeah, it's really cool. Totally good. Um, it's fun. I like the. One of the cool things is like there's vinyl factories in Mexico. Yes. That you can make toys at, which is pretty rad. Yes. I wonder if that saves on shipping from overseas. Just go down and pick it up yourself. <laughs> so I did notice on the back of this, it says um, Mark Nagata of Max Toy Company. Oh. So I don't know if he had a, uh, well, obviously he had a hand in something in this. He did the Arte. <laughs> Whatever that is. Or what does that say? Uh, Agradecimiento Especial a uh, Mark Nagata. Special thanks. Mexico 2009. I guess so. Special thanks. Nice. Yeah. It all comes together. Everything's interconnected. And they have other figures, too. This isn't the only thing. You can go to their website that she mentioned um, mentioned earlier, but they have, like, um, this crazy-looking thing with a squishy brain. You take the, the head off, and it's got, like, a squishy brain in it. And Ooh, I, think I like that, squishy brains. Yeah, and it's coming out with other stuff, I too. like that little guy. Sierra Muco is on the bottom. I don't know if it's somebody's name in their little logo, but I like that little broken egg dude. Oh, yeah. So, what do you think about the paint? Like, it's very kaiju-esque with the kaiju, light yeah. spray over mm -hmm. different colors. If you're if you're into kaiju, I mean, I, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. I could see this yeah. getting customized by some of those guys out there, just really mm. doing it up, you know, some... Matt Walker. Get Lisa Fur yeah. on there or something Yeah, like. exactly. Yes, we need all of those people to do this. I like the size, actually. It's like a nice little... He's a little squat handheld. dude. I like him. Yeah. Because usually kaiju is more tall. Mm-hmm. You know, standing. So I like that this has a really firm, fat base. Have to worry about him tipping over in an earthquake. <laughs> Definitely not. I think that's we have only to worry our about state that, on this that has coast. to worry about that. <laughs> oh. Um, I like the silver detail. There's, I mean, there's not much more to say about it, but yeah. yeah. Next thing in kaiju, way to go. What do you think for thirty bucks? I mean, a kaiju is always expensive, I guess, but. I mean, I think twenty. I would like twenty more, but thirty's not a bad price for that. Yeah, I could see a little bit less as well. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, guys, 20, if we could aim for that next time, just <laughs> make that happen. Um, yeah, that's it for reviews. Let's get to some events. 
events, happenings, do it. stuff to do. You read this one. I'm done saying jippy butts. <laughs> you just said it. <laughs> done. <laughs> We Heart Wood, Jibby Butts Custom Show at Monkey King in Los Angeles, California from April 8th to May 6th, monkeyking.com for more information. Bricks by the Bay. <laughs> this is a celebration of Lego as an artistic medium and hobby in Northern California in Fremont, actually. It's uh, going down April 9th to the 11th. You can check it out at bricksbythebay.com. If anybody who's watching this is going to that... Get on the forum, let me know, email me, info at, Octo or at uh, toybreak.com. I would really, uh, I'm, I'm sad that I'm not going, so it's let me know if you're going. It's a clever name for an event, Bricks by the Bay. I think you may be in that area at that time. What, what is the date? Uh, the 9th to 11th. So yes, the 10th. I will be for the um, awesome Five-Eyed Dragon show. At, yes, at which Dragatomi. I do not have the information for, so maybe we should mention that show too. Why not? Are we there right now? We are there. Okay, Five Eye Dragon Show at Dragatomi is coming up. It's going to be on uh, Saturday, I believe, April 9th. It's going to feature um, customs from Drill One, Lucifer, Betso, Brenton Alasco, and Southern Drawl. Awesome. And uh, it's going to be a really cool show, and I'm flying up to Sacramento for that. Rad. Flying up, huh? I am. Going Fancy. in style. Look at yep. you. Big I know. time. I know. Fancy. <laughs> Big time. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Dragatomi.com. Dragatomi.com. Check out their stuff. Yeah. So, Very cool. Yeah. Look at that adding. That's what he does because he's a newsman. I guess. Someone here does research. It's him. <laughs> I just get emails. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on the show. This has been so much fun. It's been awesome. I'm you have glad. to come back. I would love to. Yay! Or we can come down to your neck of the woods and do something down do there. A taping down there. What do you think? That'd be cool. Get some video of Gunzo, maybe? Yes, Gunzo. Like the only vinyl shop in San Diego? Absolutely. Maybe we could drag you over to Legoland or something? That'd be cool. I love it. I love it. So much fun stuff. So don't forget, you can save 20%, that's money, in your pocket with the coupon code TOYBREAK, all one word, at funkrush.com and October Toys. International customers can also use that code at happypandatoys.com. You can also visit toybreak.com to contact us and watch our shows. You can get the links for everything we talk about, which was a lot in this episode, like yeah. all the blogs and everything. You can smell Mossman's private areas, like George. Is it Not strongest really sure. down there? <laughs> it, when, the on, my, on my old toy, Moss. it was the strongest in his crotch. So I wanted to say. <laughs> nice pine-scented taint. He had a good pine taint. I don't know if I can show this to my mom now. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't forget to toybreak.com. You can donate if you like the show. Every dollar helps. You can also download download paper. I'm just completely thrown off by what just happened here. <laughs> <laughs> you can also download Paper Toys of Us from Alexander Gwynn. Awesome. Very cool. Um, you can check out his stuff at agpapertoy.com. No, agpapertoy.blogspot.com. Damn you, Blogspot. You can call and leave us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us at info at toybreak.com. You can check out our briefs at youtube.com slash toybreak. We've got lots of Lego stuff and other... They, they've all turned other... it off by now. Oh. Every, everybody stopped watching a long time ago. You think? Yeah, they don't watch this far. <laughs> Once we get into this pitch at the end, they don't watch anymore. I would watch. No, they don't watch. I even listen to the wrap-up on Big Kev's. I don't like it, but I listen to it. They don't watch anymore. Wrap-up. <laughs> no, yeah, they are, because somebody's waiting for the toy break. That's true. Hey, you want to lead us out? That would be awesome. Please do. Here's your toy break. <laughs>